Hi, this is Ken Sandwick and I'm going to show you how I do warping in Ableton Live. In this case it's version 6.0. To start with, let's drag in music into the environment. In this case it's an AAC file. It's being converted just now to a web file. And at the same time default warp information is generated. So when that's done, let's go down and look at the BPM value that it has figured out. It's 127.99. So what I do, I, I make 128 so I can listen to the same BPM value as the original track. After that, I go down and create a loop. And the loop is going to be of the length 4 bars. So now we can see, after that starting point, we want to notch it by the left and arrow keys. So it's a line, so... And after that, I go up and I'm going to start the metronome here. So, and then I start the clip. Now when I start the clip, I could go and listen to the track with the metronome and it sounds okay. So I'm going to select the whole four bars and with the up arrow keys, I could go through the track and listen if things are okay. If it sounds okay. After that, I'm going to go all the way to the end of the track. And the reason for that is that I want to put an ending board point. It's going to define the last beat here. So I double click on that one. It becomes a green fixed four point and I nudge it to replace. And now I'll go back and, and move back again and listen to different parts of the track. And it sounds okay. It's good. And when that's fine, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning again. Then I do some last things that I usually do for a track. For instance, I go and set the length 4 to 8 um, bars. And then I make sure I run complex mode. And then I important to save the information. So when that's done, all that information we generated is stored in the .asd file, which is next to the real audio file. So that's what I do in Ableton. Hope you liked it. Thanks. Bye.